jiggle, jiggle. The doorknob twisted at a hand, moving it before you walked into the League of Villains. Your uniform was the same as always. The black nurse dress, the black heels, the black mask you worn as a sign that the League knew of as the black nurse. I knew we, ha- I, we haven't met, but I'm here to look at the student. He spoke, walking in front of the unconscious Bakugo Katsuki. Everyone looked at you with such shock. You looked at them. Well, what are you going to say? Or are you just going to stand there and look like idiots? You spat. Black nurse, no one in the league has seen you except me and two others. It's just they are shocked to see you. Kirigiri spoke, cleaning a glass. <laughs> Black nurse? Huh. Sounds stupid. Dobby laughed. I, would do- I wouldn't do that. You heard Shigaraki speak. Dobby. Hmm. You should be careful on what you say. You walked up to him, was going to whisper into his ear. Or should I say Toya Todoroki? You moved away. Don't be stupid. You said before walking over to Bakugo once again. Plans have changed. The doctor wants to use him for a nomu. You spoke, examining his hand. But what the League didn't know was... Earlier. You grabbed your phone, seeing that it was Kirishima. You answered the phone. Kirishima, are you alright? I heard the news. You spoke. You could tell he was outside. uh, He cut himself off. I'm fine, no worries. I I need your help, though. You heard that he... there. You heard in his voice. He sounded desperate. What, what is it? You asked. I need your help getting Bakugo. He spoke. He, he want to see if he's at the league's base. He trailed off. And maybe put a listening device and tracker on you. He spoke worriedly. Put me on speaker. You could hear voices by him. Uh Uh-huh. Then... He put you on speaker. I know that you have people around you, Kirishima. You you stopped saying my name. It was obvious. You sighed. Now, I need you all to listen to me. Bakugo is surely at their base. There will be ones you encounter at the camp. They're not going to give Bakugo without a fight. See, I figured that the League would take on one of UA's students after the UA Sports Festival. I'll deal with them. I'll get Bakugo out of there, and you just take him as far as you can, quickly. You stopped hearing them, hearing them, oh my god, hearing them. And then someone spoke out. How do we know if we can trust you? You heard a male voice. You sighed. I'm not, go- I'm not giving my name, but I'll tell you this. I know the league inside and out. If you still don't trust me, the address is... Blank, blank, blank. Go there. There should be a window there. You can see no moose. Be disguised. That's when you stopped. Pure silence was heard. Karashima, I'm done. I'll be there at the base soon. Be there. Or your Bakugo will end up as a Nomu. And that's not a warning. By Karashima. You hung up inside, going to your bedroom and changing into your uniform. You then put on a hoodie and some glasses sorry if you already do, and walked to the outside of the base. Once there, you saw Kirishima and some others with you. You pointed behind the building. Kirishima nodded and took them with him. They didn't notice you at all. Good. You went to the door and opened it. Back. Ooh, before you do that, can I get some of his blood? A girl asked. You looked at her. Sure, I guess. That's when Bakugo woke up. Both you and Shigaraki looked at each other. You have one chance. You spoke before walking to the bar and sitting down. You know what I want. You spoke, Kuri giving you an odd-looking black drink. You listened to Shigaraki trying to get Bakugo to join the league, but gladly, he didn't want to. He, Bakugo, attacked them trying to get out. That's when you heard a knock on the door. Everyone looked at the door. Before the wall was destroyed and wood was trapped all, trapped all of you. 
Everyone tried to break free, but you stayed still. Knocked out the ones who need it. The one who caused the wood. He then looked at you, confused. Why is a 16-year-old here? It was written on his face. You just stood there, not doing anything. That's when goo came out from all of your guys' mouths, moving you all to a different place. You coughed and hacked up everything. You knew this was going to happen. Now you hoped that the others weren't stupid. You looked at him. He looked, aka Bakugo. He looked confused as you nodded your head to the right, slapping your face as he didn't understand and was now surrounded by the league. God, this guy is stupid, you thought. That's when he saw something in the sky. Good, so they're not stupid after all, I thought. You smiled as you ran towards them, quickly zipping your uniform off and taking it, the skirt and tank top now noticeable, making your way out of the danger zone and passing policemen, making sure they didn't see you and making your way to the crowd where hopefully they would all be. You slowed down as you saw Karashima and the others. Oh, Ichiro, it's been some time. You spoke smiling and walking to him. Oh, Yin, he spoke hugging you. How are you? You asked, Bakugo. My name's Yin Lin, as in the nurse. And you must be Bakugo Katsuki, right? Ichiro has spoken a lot about you. You spoke to him making like you just hadn't seen him five minutes ago. He looked confused. Or you could say, I'm your help. <laughs> you giggled as he looked even more confused. That's when you heard a voice coming from the giant TV. You looked at it in pure shock and scared for what was about to go down. It was him, the one who took you in all those years ago. All for one. End of chapter five. Wow, are you surprised? I got this chapter done in like a, a day, literally a day. I actually didn't know what to do for this chapter until I went through like an old um, notebook of mine and found out this story is completely written there. But, um, Grammar, spelling, and um, plot points are very weird. You go from being 14 to 16 in like a month. So um, I'll, make some, I'll make some changes to that because it's very short. It's like, like three pages long. And this is way more than three pages. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye, lovelies. I love you all so much.